Days have been beautiful weather-wise and a lot of copy and pasting going on in that forecast, as you mentioned. Chief Meteorologist Tony Minolfi joins us now to look outside. Hey, Tony. Well, I'll tell you what, we take you back out towards the attractions tonight. The fireworks ended a short time ago, but you can see a beautiful evening there. Pretty tranquil. Got a lot of moisture developing here coming in out of Texas. The remnants of some tropical moisture that's going to build to the north. Hook up with this front and then this area of low pressure out west. So there's going to be a significant amount of rain across the heartland of America, but because of this strong ridge of high pressure that's going to be building southward, that moisture is not going to make it in here. It's going to go up and over the ridge. What it is going to do is give us a lot of windy conditions here over the next couple of days, and that's going to create from time to time a couple of sprinkles uh, off the uh, the coast coming on shore. Not seeing anything like that, though, tonight. Temperatures through the interior falling back into the uh, middle and the upper 60s to about the low 70s here in town along the coast with the onshore flow and the relatively warmer Atlantic waters running 74, 76. It's uh, keeping those temperatures pretty close close to that value. All right, tomorrow morning out the door, low 60s here. Uh, north and west, 65 Leesburg, 67 Bitlow, and then you get to coastal Brevard County running about 70 to 72 degrees. 12 hour forecast here out the door at 9 a.m. 72, about 83 at 3, on into mid to late afternoon in the evening, falling back into the lower 70s. All right, so the setup for tonight and tomorrow, breeze starts developing right around daybreak. It's going to be sticking around throughout the day tomorrow. A hint of a little bit of moisture just south of Brevard County, but I wouldn't be surprised if a sprinkle or two uh, tries to get into the southern Brevard County uh, as far north as there. I don't think uh, the interior is anything to worry about. Notice the temperatures tomorrow. A few degrees cooler than today. We actually hit 87 here in the inland areas. Tomorrow will be about uh, 83, 84, but along the coast there, uh, we are talking about temperatures holding upper 70s, low 80s. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's that big dome, big ridge of high pressure. Uh, deep easterly flow will watch for a few showers from time to time, but more concerned about the dangerous rip currents and the deteriorating uh, marine conditions as we get towards the middle of the week. Friday night football, the Harmony Longhorns taking on the Heritage Panthers, 79, 74. No mention of any rain. And then as we head into the weekend, there's your big dome of high pressure upstate of South Carolina sliding off uh, over towards Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, keeping us on the breezy but relatively dry side, which is great news for UCF's homecoming game uh, this weekend hosting the Mountaineers looking good 77 at 10 80 at the noon hour to the tropics we have TD one coming ashore and should be a foregone conclusion here uh, by the time we're waking up tomorrow inland and weakening Tammy on the other hand still a hurricane and lifted up to the north northeast here at about uh, nine miles an hour again it's going to weaken with time but as it curls back it's going to actually help to build in the surf towards the United States here as we get towards the upcoming weekend and early next week. Again, bigger impulse, though, is that big ridge of high pressure. That's stirring things up right now, and that will continue right through the end of the work week. So your seven-day forecast here looking pretty good. 83 to 85 right through early next week. Overnight low temperatures running in the middle to the upper 60s. A few showers and sprinkles along the coast from time to time.